Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today is our last day in LA. I know, so sad, but we are gonna have an amazing day. So we wanna take you along, show you everything that we do, and we're obviously gonna eat some amazing food because I wanna make the most of this last day. We're staying in a really awesome Airbnb and we realized in the last video that we didn't give you a tour. So we're gonna do a quick tour right now and then I think we're gonna get out there and go and hit a workout at Muscle Beach. Yes. So the main reason why we picked this Airbnb is because it is so close to the beach. So you can't really see it, but like all those palm trees over there are like right along the boardwalk. And you get this like beautiful view up here of, you know, just some other buildings, but it is a really nice view. You can see the California like hills or whatever they call them over there. So upstairs you get this little like lofty kind of area. We haven't used this at all, but you have to do like some serious work or something. I guess it'd be a good place to do it. So it's three floors and it's got this like spiral staircase that goes obviously the whole way. And uh, I don't know what it is about spiral staircases, but they are so cool. So we don't really have to show that, but there's like a small bedroom there, bathroom here. And then here's the master bedroom. Now this is way nicer than our bedroom in our little basement rental. This has been so nice to stay in. Nice high ceiling, got the view of like the road and everything out here. And then this is one of my favorite parts about this. It's got one of these like rain head showers. Yeah, this is really nice. I've never had anything like that before. So it's pretty cool. It's really nice to shower in. Something else that's pretty cool about this place is if you want, you can like use the stairs to stretch or you could obviously like do some pull-ups warm up for the day. So here's the living room and it's just like all one big room here on the main floor and then you've got the kitchen over here which I love the whole like open concept kind of thing. So yeah it's been really great. Should we get ready and head down for a workout? All right let's do it. So in our last video, you guys might have seen that we played a game using these dice that had like different calisthenics movements on it and then different rep ranges. And rather than just throwing them away, Crystal thought it'd be a nice idea to leave them here for other people to use because when we were using them, everyone was like so interested in it and wanted to try, wanted to have a roll to see if they could do it. So we're gonna leave them here. Hopefully someone gets some use out of them. I think it's a good idea. You guys will have to let us know, are people gonna use them or not? I think they will. Well. Next time, I'll see you, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. we go. love visiting here. Okay, go All right, so look what we got. And I got a black one as well. The lady who works in the office, we told her it was our last day and she's so sweet. So she's like, here's some shirts. I only have size small, so these will fit me. And I'm so excited. And then there's the black one, which I love. And that was so nice. Like, how cool is that? Yeah, she's that's so actually sweet. so sick. All right, so what are you gonna work out today? What well, doesn't hurt? <laughs> I mean, honestly, maybe some upper, maybe some lower. What about you? I think just a little bit of like upper body. I kind of like tweaked my back a little bit yesterday trying to pull a little bit heavy on the seated row So I definitely got to take care of that or like at least pay attention to it So I don't hurt it more, but yeah, just a little bit of everything a bit of arms a bit of chest shoulders All right, so I don't know about you, but I'm done. I'm tired. It's a good workout. You kill like, it? I'm probably ready to go too. I did like lower body and then just. Anyways, I was gonna say I did some lower body and then it just morphed into upper body as per usual. So <laughs> I, I think I did good. Nice, let's go get some smoothie bowls. It's cute, give us a little spin, go over there. It fits perfect, she knew exactly my size. So I'm sure a lot of you know about this place, but it's called Muscle Beach and it's right in Venice. And as you can tell, it's like right on the boardwalk. So everyone's like looking at you, taking pictures and stuff as you walk by. And it's kind of fun to like be part of the scene while you're here, you know? So yeah, anyways, legendary place. Like there's a whole bunch of plaques around the outside. Oh, Danny Padilla. He's like one of my favorite bodybuilders. This guy's physique is incredible. Lee Labrada, Franco Colombo, Pudgy Stockton, Frank Zane, also one of my all-time favorite physiques. Anyways, it's pretty cool to work out in such a legendary spot. It's and amazing. I'm proud of you because like you used to be nervous just to go into like a regular gym. Now you're like, you know, I'm working out in front of all these people. It's pretty awesome. Doesn't happen that often that you get to work out at a legendary place like this. So yeah. it's so much fun. 
All right, so we're gonna get a smoothie bowl at this Everbowl place. You know, usually we would like make it at home or I'd have a smoothie or something like that, but because it's like our last day, we don't have a ton of food left. So we're just gonna, you know, take advantage of the wonderful options that they have around here. And we're also gonna make something at home, of course. And then, yeah, then go up for dinner as well. All right, so here are the bowls that we got. I got the tropical bowl and Crystal got apple up bowls. It's kind of like um, like a cinnamon apple oatmeal, mm -hmm. but then with like some berry, uh, like smoothie on the bottom, and it's good. It's so Can good. I try it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're gonna <laughs> like it a lot, I think. Uh. Oh, fire! So good. And I'm not sure exactly what's in mine. Bunch of tropical flavors. Definitely some chia pudding. It's nice and bright. Let me try it out. Yeah, so good. All right, so I think we're gonna enjoy these as we walk back along the boardwalk and then, yeah, see you at home. You probably kind of get cleaned up, shower and stuff. I don't know, maybe you probably will. I don't know if I will. <laughs> and then make some lunch in a little bit. All right, so we're just passing the calisthenics park on the way home and I thought I'd stop here quickly and try a trick that I learned like three, four years ago when we were here last and it's called the 360 re-grab so I don't need to explain it you'll see it it's really not that advanced as far as like you know calisthenics tricking goes but for me it's like the best thing I know all right might take me a couple tries but I'm gonna try and bang it out quick nice yes you did it yeah Oh my god, did they post it? They posted it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so Brian had this idea to post, you guys know this like Maca Bella song or whatever. He had a post the idea to post this reel. <laughs> it's so good. You guys about that. You're committed. <laughs> Look at you commit. And the caption is when you eat too much soy. That was pretty funny. <laughs> so I'm just starting our lunch and I'm gonna be baking up some of these potato hash browns from Trader Joe's. I would usually saute them, but the frying pans here are like not the best. They're kind of like all peeling and kind of weird. So this is kind of the best way I've found to do these. So what I'm gonna do is just bake them like this first. And then once they are cooked a little bit more, I'm gonna add some of this Green Goddess seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. I'm also gonna bake some of this sriracha flavored tofu from Trader Joe's. And I'm just gonna take advantage of the oven being on and us having some leftover food and just cook up this tofu as well. Probably eat it tomorrow, like just before we go to the airport or something. And then a little tomato sauce on this. We're just working with what we've got. We don't have a ton of stuff left. All right, so while that's cooking, I thought I'd show some of the stuff that we got from Trader Joe's the other day that uh, we're actually bringing home with us most of this, right? All yeah. of it. Yeah, all, pretty <laughs> much all of it. But we made sure we brought an extra big suitcase so we could bring some stuff home. So they actually have like a lot of vegan stuff at Trader Joe's and it's all pretty good. Uh, we don't have Trader Joe's in Canada, so this is kind of nice. So I'm almost out of this, but this protein peanut granola is really good. Pretty crunchy, but yeah, with a little bit of banana and some soy milk, it's amazing. Really good. This is actually a favorite of Crystal's, these plantain chips. Really nice. This is, uh, oh, jerk style. No wonder it's a favorite of yours. <laughs> they named it after your style. Oh, thanks. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Lightly sweetened coconut strips. So we bought a bunch of these, the Green Goddess seasoning. This is probably one of my favorite things that they have at Trader Joe's. It's You could use it in dressings or you could just like sprinkle it on the food as is. And then this is a sriracha uh, seasoning. This is gonna be so good. Ooh, and then this grainless granola. So not that I have a problem with grained granola, but we heard this was really good. I'm actually gonna try a tiny bit right now. Oh, I love when they're like in big chunks like this. Do you want all that? Oh my goodness. I'll try it. Wow. Oh my god. For me, that is like as good as a snack gets. Oh, that's deadly. More plantain chips. This is a really unique one. It's um, peanut butter caramel coated popcorn. Obviously aren't the healthiest snacks, but you know, we can get like lentils and you know, beans and like canned garbanzo beans and stuff in Canada. So we're trying to bring some stuff home that we don't usually get. These are actually gonna be a gift for my mom and Crystal's mom. They are amazing. Everything but the bagel, almond and cashew kind of trail mix. And this is kind of cool. We don't get this in Canada, or at least where we live either. It's uh, sort of like textured vegetable protein, but rather than it being soy, this is made from pea protein. So you could like season this however you want, but it actually looks like it does have some seasoning in it already. This is gonna be awesome. So we haven't tried these, but fruise balls, not sure what they're all about, but I'm sure they're gonna be pretty good. The packaging's pretty neat. Oh, peanut butter and jelly. They're like little energy balls. Date syrup. Mm. 
Lentil pasta, we can get this, but we've just, we just have this left over, so we might as well bring it home. Sweet and spicy pecans. Ooh, this one's so good. So this is like some crispy, crunchy okra. Not much left, so I might as well get into it here. <laughs> Thank you. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't know what how you describe it. It's like a dehydrated piece of okra. So if you guys have ever had okra before, it's like kind of slimy, it's that tasty on its own. I mean, it's great in like soups and stuff, but super crunchy, not slimy at all. Oh yeah, and then this is one of my all time favorites from Trader Joe's, chili spiced mango. Actually, I might chop up some of this and put it on our bowls. It'd be pretty good. Yeah, that's it. Back in the suitcase. <laughs> All right. Let's see how that stuff in the oven's doing. So everything's done cooking. Now I'm just gonna throw together the bowls. So I'm gonna start with some mixed lettuce, some of this cruciferous crunch as well. We've got a bunch of greens to eat up. Some of these steamed pre-cooked lentils from Trader Joe's. This is also a number one favorite of mine. If you guys have never tried these and you have a Trader Joe's nearby, definitely get into it. They're so convenient, so tasty. Some shredded carrot, some bell pepper, some steamed beets, some organic microgreens, that baked tofu. I'm gonna add a little finely chopped red onion. This just adds so much flavor to a dish like this. Next on top of the greens, some of this vegan buffalo dip. Some green goddess dressing just on top of that tofu. Just trying to get like lots of nice color contrast and flavor too. And then just to finish it off, I thinly slice some of this chili spiced mango. Sprinkle some of this on top. And then I just looked in the fridge to make sure we didn't have anything left, and we did. So I'm just gonna add some of this vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. Just gonna add a spoonful of this somewhere on here. I think it'll go there okay. This stuff is amazing. I was blown away by how flavorful it is. I'm gonna have to try and make my own pesto when I get home because it's just the best. One of my favorite things to add to food. <laughs> you gotta have a little ketchup on the hash browns. <laughs> There's so many sauces going on. All right, let's get into this bowl. There's a lot of different flavors here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope it works together. Yeah, those shredded potatoes are the best. I'm actually gonna try the tofu with like that green goddess and a little mango. Ooh, the little mango kick. Mm. It's good. All right, so we're gonna finish eating this and then we're gonna just chill out here for a little bit. And then I think we're gonna head over towards mm -hmm. Marina Del Rey. And uh, there's a restaurant that we wanna visit there for dinner. What's it called again? I think it's called Planta. Mm. And then Cos... Cochina. Cochina. I yeah, I wasn't I wasn't sure how to say it. It looks really fancy though. It looks like different than what we're used to. Yeah. But it looks <laughs> nice. We're not, we're not the fanciest people. <laughs> But yeah, it does, it looks really nice. We've heard really good things about it. So we'll obviously bring you guys along. I think we're gonna walk around the marina first, so I'll show you if there's anything cool going on there. Mm -hmm. So we're just out here walking to dinner, and upon Crystal's request, we're taking like the longest way possible. Walking's good, <laughs> don't come at me, it's nice. And it's our last day, and I wanted to see different parts of Marina Del Rey that we haven't seen before, and it's a good walk. Yeah, it is. So yeah, we're in the uh, very end of Marina Del Rey, like in the marina, and this is like at the end of the Venice canals and all that, and it's really beautiful. This is where all like those pretty rich people live. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, this is definitely where they uh, like to call home. <laughs> Look at the big old kitty. Oh, he's trying to get, he's trying to get outside. All right, so I just saw a meme recently that like taught me about these bird of paradise plants. Crystal, I gotta ask you first, which way do you think the bird is looking? Oh, Like um, this way, and its eyes are like here, or the other way? Oh, I always thought it was this way. No, <laughs> yeah, I know. So it's actually like, this would be the head here, and that's the tail, and like these are the feathers, what? the wings. Also, yeah. it's like a bird flying kind yeah, of. Yeah, well, kind of like a bird, like oh. maybe sucking nectar out of there or something like that. I no idea. But it kind of makes more sense now that you see it. Yeah, I totally get it now. Wow, they're so big. <laughs> that was like you this afternoon, hey? You had a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that one on its back? Yeah. That's just fully laid out, that, that was actually just me. So this restaurant was great, but it was a little bit dark in there, a little bit fancy, and a little too loud to film. So I just got some footage and I figured I'd voice over it. So the first thing we got was this bang bang broccoli, and it was kind of like tempura broccoli with a peanut sauce, and it was absolutely incredible. Next we got a dragon roll, which was good, but I wasn't overly impressed with this. I think I would have got something different next time. 
This is kind of like a regular dragon roll that you would get at any old sushi place. For the price, mm, like I said, probably would have chose something else. Crystal, not a big fan of sushi. She doesn't like the seaweed, so she was kind of unsure about it, but she ate some. Next, we got the black garlic tofu, which was so flavorful. However, as you can see, the serving size wasn't huge, just three fairly small pieces of tofu each, and it was like medium soft tofu, so there really wasn't that much there. However, I do know that we eat a lot more tofu per serving than the average person. Next, we got the Next, we got the Maffeldean Pasta Verde. No idea if I'm saying that right, but wow, this one was so good. The noodles were really unique. As you can see, they were really long, very shapely, so they held onto the pasta well, and it tasted like they were made from fresh pasta. I have no idea if it was, but I'm pretty sure, judging by this place, it probably was. So this is the kind of restaurant where you order a bunch of different dishes and then you kind of share them. So that's why we have like a few different courses. We didn't really realize that going into it, but uh, you know, we kind of found that out in the end. And it was really nice to try a bunch of different things. So we got talked into trying this dessert and wow, it was amazing. So this was a corn cake with a scoop of plant-based vanilla ice cream on top. And wow, what a good way to finish this meal. It was like a sweet cornbread, and I would definitely get this again. So overall, we really enjoyed our meal at Planta Cocina, and uh, if you guys want a nice fancy meal and you're in the Marina Del Rey area, we both strongly recommend it. So time to head home, and no better way to get home than on the bird scooters. This is like one of my favorite ways to travel around Venice Beach and Marina Del Rey. All right, so thank you all for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed all the meals that we ate. And hopefully you get a chance to visit LA, like Venice Beach, Marina Del Rey, Santa Monica area sometime because it is such a cool place. Thank you all for watching. Definitely like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe so you can see more. And I will see you soon with another video. Videos of mine Bye -bye. that I think you might like. And if you're looking for some delicious and healthy plant-based recipes, check out my new recipe ebook, Easy Vegan Comfort Meals. It contains over 60 plant-based recipes, lots of delicious sauces that I know you're gonna love. Thanks for watching and thanks for the support.